Swerve or hit the pothole? It's a question a lot of drivers are asking themselves. There are so many potholes, it's hard not to hit at least one. And for teenagers learning how to drive, well, it's even more challenging. 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick is live tonight in Boardman. She's got more on that story. Hey, Dave, good evening. Tim out here on Matthews Road in Boardman. Got to tell you, this is probably one of the worst roads that I've seen. We're going to have you take a look at these potholes for yourself. They're just about everywhere out here in this road. You can see cars really stopping to slow down when they're coming through, but not everyone's taking that approach. I've seen cars fly right on in through here. Other cars going over on the other side of the lane when a car is not there. So driving through this, that's a challenge for almost anyone. So just imagine being a first time driver and having to master this too. The pothole problem is everywhere in the valley. It's a rough ride for drivers, especially new drivers. It's uh, it's a bit of a challenge, really, um, avoiding the potholes and uh, just kind of learning to drive with them is it's it's challenging. Kazi has his learner's permit and has hit a few of those pesky potholes. It's a bit of a shock. Greg Anderson runs All Star Driving School. He tells his students to allow more space between their car and the car in front of them when they see potholes. Sometimes the only option is to hit one, and Greg says there's a better way to do it as long as a car isn't tailgating you. You want to hit the brake as hard as you can, keep your wheel straight, and then as you hit the pothole, you release the brake so all the weight shifts back to the back tires. Because if you hit the pothole with your foot on the brake, all the way to the cars on the front. Mahoney County engineer crews are filling potholes right now on Western Reserve Road, and they're doing it with a hot, cold mix that just came in from Canton. Now, I'm on Western Reserve by Tippecanoe. There's also another crew in Western Reserve down by Hitchcock. Crews were also out on South Avenue and North Lima Road today. It's going to take some time to patch all the potholes. In the meantime, Greg says don't look at a pothole when you're trying to dodge it. You're going to probably run it over. So you want to look for a path around it and then make your eyes follow that path. Gazi says he's ready to take his driver's test, potholes or no potholes. And driving out here on Matthews Road, you can see another car slowly going through all this. Now, since we've been out here, we actually had a car come over to our live truck here and say, look at my rim on my tire, hit a pothole not too far away. So uh, more damage going for those. I myself... Uh, hit a pothole out on Glenwood. That just damaged my hubcap, but last year I totally had to replace an aluminum rim. So definitely understand the expense of having to fix your car because of these potholes. Reporting live in Boardman, Julie Versick, WKBN 27 First News.